Lucy, I'm going to beat you if you keep talking across my classroom. Okay. Okay. The third way, and yes, that was recorded, so there's proof of that everywhere, just so you know. Okay. Now, the third way is side, 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 which means... Side, side, side. SSS. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of the other triangle, those triangles have to be congruent. They have to be. Okay? And so we can do lots of things with this. We can... That's too easy, too easy, too easy. Let me give you something like this. I'm going to give you... One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Why are you going nuts? My pencil's over here. Okay, undo. You're going to tick me off. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, three. I'm going to go here. Three. We'll go here. We'll go here. We'll call this A, B, C, D, and E. Given, I'm going to tell you that AB is congruent to DE, and I'm going to tell you that C is the midpoint of AD, and I'm going to tell you that that's AD, by the way, because it's not coming up very. My pencil's being stupid. I'm going to tell you that AD bisects BE, and I want you to prove that angle A is congruent to angle D. And you could do this several ways, just so you know. I'm just kind of curious to see who does it one way and who does it the other. Several ways we could have done this. Okay, first is the given. I'm not going to write all the given for the sake of time, but let's talk about it. Okay, first we know that AB is congruent to DE, so I know this is congruent to this, correct? And then it says C is the midpoint of AD. If C is the midpoint of AD, what does that tell you? AC has to be congruent to, and why? No. Definition of midpoint. So now that tells me that this is congruent to this. Okay. So I've used this clue. I've used this clue. Let's go to this clue. If AD bisects BE, what does that tell me? It tells me that BC is congruent to EC. Why? Definition of bisects. So that tells me that this is congruent to this, which now I can say triangle blah, blah, blah is congruent to triangle blah, blah, blah. No, you don't get to say blah, blah, blah. I do because of side, side, side. And then you would have said angle A is congruent to angle D. Why? Because of CPCF. Now, did anybody solve this triangle a different way? No one did. Well, <laughs> maybe not. Okay. If I didn't use the first given, if I did not choose to use that right there, do you see some angles that may be congruent? Yes. What angles may be congruent? A, C, D, and E, C, D. 
you have vertical angles congruent, right? So I could have said that this angle is congruent to this angle, and then I could have proven the triangles are congruent by what? Side, angle, side. Did anyone even see that? Yes. Please just make me feel better and lie to me and say yes. I'm not lying. I did see it. Okay. All right, so really, there's not very many proofs, again, if any, on this one. There are some tougher pro Yes, I'm going to give you a proof. You know that. A couple? Just one, but I think I'm going to have you prove it more than one way. Oh, I see. But I'm going to work on it. I might be, yeah, no, well, no. I changed my mind. I'm doing it a different way. Okay, so if you're looking at page 226, Page 226, we are doing 5-4, okay, don't care about those, don't care about those, we're not starting until number 10, we are going to do 10 through, I don't care about that. Okay, let's go, let's just go 10 through 21 all. Now, I'm going to show you number 16 and help you with it a little bit. I'm not going to do it for you, but everybody look at 16. It says find all the possible solutions for X and maybe Y, because they don't say anything about Y, but there are some Ys there on other problems. Okay. 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 One or more of the problems may have no solution. Okay, only one of them has no solution, just so you know. Now, look at 16. Okay, and they don't give directions very well. Okay, they want to know what is the value of x on 16 for those two triangles to be congruent. And obviously, since the lesson today is about side, 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 we're just going to look at sides, right? Mm -hmm. So look here. We have a triangle, and one side is 6, and the other side is 6. Correct? Mm -hmm. And then we have one that's 8, and then the other side is 9, and then we have an x, and we have an x minus 1. Okay? Now... If I'm trying to match up congruent sides, this is the no-brainer. Do you agree with that? But look here, see more have this is to check and see if you have any common sense whatsoever. Does A equal 9? No. So are those corresponding sides? No. So those are not correspond. So that means the 8, for those two triangles to be congruent, the 8 would have to correspond with the x minus 1, correct? Mm -hmm. And the x would have to correspond with the... Nine. So, so one of them, x minus 1 would equal 8. The other one, x equals 9. Okay? Just as, so what does x equal? Nine. And if I plug it in here, it should be equal to... Does 9 minus 1 equal 8? Yes. Okay, I lied. I solved it for you. So I did 16 for you, because there's harder ones than that. And that one's the easy one. I gave you the easy one. I did the easy one for you because I'm a good guy. I know. I know. When you speak of me, speak well. Okay. Now, here we go. The extra problem, just because we haven't done it for a while and I want you to do it, and because I just feel like being mean, if I tell you triangle on triangle A, B, C, a is, let's pause this for a second. So what I want you to do is, you're not going to do a two-column proof. You're going to prove to me mathematically, which means you better show me some math, lots of math, why those two triangles are congruent to each other. Okay? That's what you're going to do. What? See if you can figure it out on your own. I am not helping you on that problem. I want you to problem solve. It's really not very hard. 
Okay, the end.